Boa. And the first here, a thousand metres, the journey. Light about to come on. Ready, lights on now. Set at Woolamai, race number one. Starter holds them, he lets them go now. They're off and racing this time. Barabas came away okay on the inside. Hunting up in the centre in the early stages is High Era with Imperial Silk and Wider out stat deck. Silky Aura just in off the pace. They're followed by as they settle down into stride. Devada Joe driving up along the inside then came Kakik. Further back Barabas midfield. They're followed by Escalada over on the outside. It's back amongst the tail enders now. Magic Bliss is back there with it and last of all is Whistling Kite. As they come onto the course proper and High Era is the leader. Out after it in second placing is Imperial Silk. Wider out stat deck. Couple of lengths away then came Silky Aura followed by Devada Joe over on the outside. Escalada wide. In between runners then as they round the home turn was Special One. And at the head of the rest as they straighten up is Magic Bliss. Into the straight now. And it's three across the track. Imperial Silk over on the inside. Stat deck the centre. And wider out here comes Silky Aura coming at them. It's Imperial Silk still in front. It's, uh, coming at it on the outside is Silky Aura. And right down the outside Devada Joe with a strong run right across the track. Devada Joe's taken the lead near the line. And Devada Joe wins the first. Couple of lengths on the line. Silky Aura second. Escalada came from well back to get third. Just in behind them then came Special One. Wide out on the track then was Magic Bliss. In behind them, Stat Deck, who knocked up in the straight. Followed by Whistling Kite. Then Barabas in behind them, High Era. Imperial Silk uh, has finished back amongst the tail enders. And uh, Kakik back with it. Stand by for placings on the first. Good strong run put in by Devada Joe. Now at the second race. Race number two, the Island Garden Supplies, Class D ladies bracelet over a thousand metres. Now they're all in. Set for a start, light about to come on. Does so now, they're ready. Set. Off they go and racing this time out wide. Manor High Connection showing pace shortly after the start along with Tawari driving up towards the lead. Nearer the inside showing some pace shortly after box rise was uh, Sistine Kid. So settling down into stride and driving through as well is Johnston's Girl. A great charge. Tawari back in the centre swing girl. Driving up along the inside Johnston's Girl. Wider out Manor High Connection and driving right up along the inside now Stella Dane. A very keen affair. Just in behind them then came Lady Show Off. Further back was Lang Back out of it now was Sistine Kid back towards the rear and last of all River Zam. They've got 400 to go prior to turning for home. Stella Dane on the inside. Uh, swing girls out wider, wider still as they round the home turn was Tawari. Johnson's girl just in behind them followed by Manor High Connection and wider out on the track Sistine Kid. Many chances top of the straight. It's uh, Swing Girl going to the lead from back on the inside there is Stella Dane. Lady Show Off getting between runners and wider out Sistine Kid. Sistine Kid's the one that's raced up to Lady Show Off. It's Sprinting clear near the line, Sistine Kid. And Sistine Kid scores by three lengths on the line. Lady Show Off second. Third went to Swing Girl. In behind them to pull out to Worry. Then Manor High Connection. Further back then was Johnson's Girl. In behind them, Stella Dane, which showed some pace, followed by River Zane. A River Zam. And last in was Lenko. Very keen affair. The second event. Line of about four or five as they came down the hill onto the course proper. The top of the straight, there were still quite a few chances. Lady Show Off had uh, ranged up quickly to Stella Dane. But then Sistine Kid Our White has finished on strongly, and we await the numbers on uh, race number two. Woolamai for the third. 
Ready off and racing this time. They'll come into view shortly. I can see Deep Arrow began okay on the inside. Carbon U, though, is uh, coming across early. And as they settle down into stride, and Carbon U is the leader, up on the outside in second placing goes a Mind My Girl. Up there as well in the early stages is Deep Arrow. Now settling down into stride fully, and Carbon U is the leader. Ormento, is, it is in the centre, followed by Out Wider on the track as they work around that first turn was Mind My Girl. A few lengths back then came Deep Arrow over on the inside. From from Noble Escort. A couple of lengths away then Stella Rosa over on the outside of Billy's Park and bringing up the rear is Sham T. Striding over towards the 1100 metre mark now they go and the leader is Carbon U by half a length on Almento in second placing on the outside. They're followed by Mind My Girl who's still out three wide. In behind them came Deep Arrow. A length away then in the field came Noble Escort. A half a length away on the outside then came Stella Rosa. A couple of lengths away on the inside as they worked down the back was Billy's Park and uh, four away last of all and under the whip there is Sham Tease as they come around that uh, top circle and the leader at the 600 metre mark now is Ormento strides a length in front of Carbon U second, My My Girl still sticking on on the outside, then a couple of lengths away Stella Rosa running on very wide on the track, followed by Sham Tease tracking it up with Billy's Park as the field starts to munch, then Noble Escort in the centre and Deep Arrows dropped out to last of all they're about to swing into the home straight with 300 to go and the leader now is Stella Rosa. Got a length or so in front. In second placing out after it is Billy's Park followed by My, My Girl and uh, wide around on the track comes Noble Escort. Halfway up the straight Stella Rosa in front. Billy's Park is trying hard followed by Noble Escort. It's Stella Rosa though hanging on near the line from Billy's Park and Stella Rosa will win. Stella Rosa wins a length or so on the line to Billy's Park. Third placing went to Noble Escort. About six or seven away then Sham Tease. In behind them came uh, Mind My Girl. There followed by Deep Arrow. Further back then to pull up was Carbonu who knocked up and Ormento was last of all. Uh, wait our placings on the third event on the program. Number three straight in the frame. Number three Stella Rosa is the winner ridden by Corey Mallion. Number three Stella Rosa, Corey Mallion first. Race number four from Wollamai today. Now they started jumping down, so there must be a problem there. So uh, we'll just wait for the light. There's the light, they're set. Race number four at Wollamai. Here they come into view, they're off and racing this time. Down near the inside, body edition showing some pace shortly after the start with Shannon Sand coming across. Wider out still was Ferrari, Miss and Wider still on the track as Trenina settling down into stride. Shannon Sand takes over. In the centre is Ferrari, Miss making ground around them. Call me Chloe, the one that caused the trouble at the start. Ferrari, Miss is just in behind them. They're followed by body edition over along the inside as they swing out of the straight. His outside is Trenina. Back midfield, the grey heavenly tread. They're followed by further back in the field came Melodic Boy over on the inside. Further afield then over on the outside was Lucky Date followed by Stylish Life the inside. Of in second last placing is Yerrick Lass and bringing up the rear is the top weight Lord Spring as they stride down the back straight now at the 800 and the leader is Shannon Sand by a length or so in front of in second placing Call Me Chloe going up three wide Heavenly Tread the Grey and behind them on the fence came Ferrari Miss. They're followed by uh, Trenina over on the inside Further back then is Boba Trist in midfield. They're followed by Body Edition. Further afield then came Lucky Date as they swing off that back straight. They're followed by Melodic Boy back along the inside. Further afield then uh, came Stylish Life commencing a run. Wider out came Yerrick Lass. And dropping out to last of all still is Lord Spring. They're about to swing for home. 400 to go. And Shannon Sand still narrowly in front. The danger over on the outside. Racing up quickly now could be Boba Trist. They're followed by making ground as well from, from a long way back.
was Lucky Date in the straight many chances and uh, now racing to the lead it's uh, Boba Trist and uh, Boba Trist is in front trying hard down the outside is Tranina Boba Trist in front from Tranina they're followed by Call Me Chloe over on the inside and Stylish Life from a long way back racing to the line it's Boba Trist Boba Trist just wins second placing went to Tranina third placing out wide uh, give it to Stylish Life in behind them Call Me Chloe Yerrick Lass they're followed by uh, in behind them too to pull up there would have been a lucky date. Further back then came Shannon Sand. Further back in the field the grey was heavenly tread. In behind the melodic boy followed by uh, Ferrari Miss. Then came the top weight Lord Spring and uh, Body Edition. Weight our numbers. Good keen go. Stand by. Might be set here. Light on, they're set. Ready. In fact, they're off and racing this time, coming back into view. And down near the inside, Pella Sun showing some pace with Lonely Queen. Just in behind them, Ben Stone uh, missing the early stages. Wider out is unreserved and wider still Ryan's boy as they settle down into stride. Lonely Queen taking on Pella Sun for the lead. Unreserved strides up to second now. In behind them then came Ryan's boy, followed by back on the inside. Long time no see, Ben Stone miss. Trapped out a little wide as they head out of the straight, there was Bow Cover. They're followed by back in the field came. Mips Amble. Further back then came Royal Youngster. Second to last at the moment is Tristan and uh, bringing up the rear as they stride on towards the back straight was Torn H Jim. Thousand metres to go as they work over to the back and a bow cover up on the outside with the back on the inside Lonely Queen that pair together. Couple of lengths back in third placing there came Unreserved followed by Long Time No See. They're followed by Ryan's Boy back along the inside. Further back then came Ips Amble improving. Palasun is next followed by Royal Youngster uh, then uh, further back in the field it came uh, Ben Stone Miss. Taking off around them was Tristan. And uh, back near the rear of the field is Torn H. Jim. They're starting to bunch as they go on towards the 500 metre mark. And the leader over on the inside is Bow Cover. Whipping up on the outside now is Pella Sun. Ips Amble is up there as well. Ips Amble has now gone to the lead. In second placing near uh, came over on the outside unreserved as they're about to swing for home. Long time no see on the inside. Then came Ryan's boy at the head of the rest was Tristan as they swing swing for home and the leader is Ips Amble got a length or so in front of unreserved trying hard down the outside from long time no see and Ryan's boy in the straight Ips Amble trying to get to the centre of the track unreserved is trying to get to it it's Ips Amble in front though near the line and Ips Amble wins Ips Amble scores by a length and a quarter on the line unreserved third placing went to Royal Youngster in behind them Tristan then came long time no see Ryan's boy a good gap back then the rest bow cover a long gap back came Ben Stone Miss. They're followed by a lonely queen in behind them. The top weight tornado Jim and a Pella Sun knocked up to finish last of all. Weight our numbers on the fifth event on the program. Numbers about to come up. You'll find Ips Amble will be the winner here. Six. Already, hello, one's up, Aqualantic. High in the stalls, rider Mary Hudson unseated. She landed on her feet out the back, so it was okay. Mary will climb back aboard this one, Aqualantic, which was led up riderless. Now, Aqualantic again set. Now they're set. Aqualantic with the head side on. Straightened up again, they're off and racing this time. Down near the inside, Boundless Planet begun well. Showing some pace, Star retained the top weight to come across for Ray Douglas. At the post the first time, Star retained leads being taken on by Bortkoi Glory. And we have a new leader, Bortkoi Glory, as they stride to the 14.50 metre mark. Bortkoi Glory is the leader as they stride out of the straight. In second placing, racing around the outside now is French Console. Trapped out a little wide is uh, Ashley's Honour in the early stages. They're followed by Star Retain, who's now fourth along 
on the inside. Uh, the next one back there is as they work their way along the back there was Boundless Planet. There followed by a gap back in the field came uh, around the outside now came uh, Star Retain. Uh, further back in the field then as they work their way along the back was over on the outside came... Uh, as they work their way along the back there was uh, Private Ruddington. So sorting themselves out as they go on to that uh, top circle once again and whipping around the outside now. And uh, taking the lead with 600 metres to go is Ashley's Honor. Ashley's Honor a few lengths in front. Bortkoy Glory going up along the inside to second. Moving around the outside is Aqualantic. They're followed by Wider out on the track as they work into the straight uh, came Baloney. And as they're about to swing the home turn, Baloney right around the outside to uh, challenge Ashley's Honor. They're followed by Aqualantic. Further back in the field was Star Retain. As they swing into the straight and Baloney's race to the lead. In second placing there is uh, Ashley's Honor. It's Baloney though in front with halfway up the straight from Ashley's Honour. They're followed by a star retained from a long way back, but Baloney racing away near the line. Four rider G Andrews and Baloney will score well. Baloney scores by about four lengths on the line. Second went to star retained, third Ashley's Honour. And behind them, Aqualantic, they're followed by a private Ruddington. Uh, the next to pull up there would have been convinced back in the field. It was one of the tail enders with Bortkoy Glory Victoria Falls in the bunch. And here's another one. Convince it was the one tailed off. Stand by for the placings on race number six. On the card here at Woolamai. Numbers about to come up. Number five. to be positioned it is now and they're set last event ready light comes on they're set to go Siemens Kingdom the inside runner they're often racing this time Alien Sun a little slow to go Siemens Kingdom won the start and will lead on settling down from acetylene they're followed by Zan John out a little wider Peerless Princess followed by Laura's Secret who's out wide going around that first turn from sharp time back in the field with Alien Sun and dropping out to last of all his vague lover. Into the back straight they stride now at about the uh, 1200 metre mark and the leader is Acetylene by a couple of lengths now over Zan John who's second. Whipping around the outside is Peerless Princess. They're followed by uh, back in uh, fourth placing now came Zan John along the inside. Further back was Siemens Kingdom on the inside from Alien Sun. Then Vague Lover and about four away last of all sharp time. Down the back midway between the far turns at the 700 and the leader is Acetylene by a couple of lengths out in front of Peerless Princess second. Over on the outside is Laura's Secret. About three lengths back then came Zanjon being passed now on the outside by Vague Lover who's making ground. They're followed by Siemens Kingdom in behind them Alien Sun and uh, dropping out to last of all sharp time with 300 to go up on that turn and the leader is Acetylene. The challenge is coming now. Laura's Secret followed by Peerless Princess then whipping right around the outside is Vague Lover and they've put five lengths on the others headed by Zan John and Alien Sun. Into the straight they swing and out wide on the track. Vague Lover's gone to the lead. Vague Lover raced away three lengths in front of Acetylene on the inside from Peerless Princess and very what? Wide on the track is Laura's Secret, but halfway up the straight, Vague Lover in no danger, and Vague Lover comes away to win the last. Vague Lover wins by the best part of six lengths on the line, second placing Laura's Secret out wide. Zan John came again for third, followed by Peerless Princess. In behind them then to pull up was Acetylene. There followed by, uh, further back came Alien Sun. It was back amongst the tail enders with Sharp Time and uh, Siemens Kingdom. Wait our numbers on the last. Numbers about to come up on the final event here today at Woolamai. Standing by for the numbers to go in the frame.